Hi everyone, welcome to the Bioinformatics School channel. In today's video, I am going to show you how you can install the SRA toolkit. So the SRA toolkit comprises of utilities and libraries that helps you to download, read and access data from um, the SRA database, that is the Sequence Read Archive. It's an NCBI data repository. So there are a number of ways you can install. You can use the binaries or you can compile or you can use Anaconda to install. But for this video, I'm going to use the binaries um, for the activity. So that's it. And this particular video is in preparation towards um, the main video, which will be on how to download data from the SRA um, database. So please um, watch that video as well after installing. So let's go down. This is the GitHub page for the SRA toolkit. We are going to use the binaries. So, and it's right for Windows, Mac, Linux as well, so it's fine. So, there's the page, we are going to download the binaries. So, we click on it. I'm going to leave the link, let me go back here. I'll leave the link to this GitHub page in the description box, so you can use that to also visit this page. And there are also instructions for using it here, so there's it, but uh, let's focus on the installation first. So. We will go to the download page here. So you click on it. And then you come here. These are the binaries for the different operating systems. You take note of, of, of that. So you also have Docker images here, which will work fine for you. So that's how it goes. Uh, I am using CentOS. So what I'll do is to download and the binary here. So with the downloads, you can just do, you can use the browser by clicking on it to download and you can also use the command line. I will show you both. Now let's use the browser. And that means you have to click this file here and then you just download it. Okay, so you just do it here and then you just save it. I'm saving it on my desktop. So this is how we do the download for, for the SRA toolkit binary. But then let's look at the second one, which I'll use for the tutorial itself, where we download using the command line. So to do that, you right click the file here, and then you copy the link. This is the link, the download link for the file. So you copy it. Okay, so now that you have copied it, you go to the command line and continue the rest of the activity. So here's the command line. And then I'm going to do an ls just to check what is on my system at the moment. This is what I have. Okay, I'm using sense OS. So we are first going to download the binary. I've copied the link. I'll use widgets to download. You can also use Kel or any downloader of your choice. So I'll use the link here. I'll type the widget, widget, and then supply it with the download link, the one we copied on the browser. And then I'll just run it to download the file. So let's wait for it to complete. So download is complete. Let's do an ls again, and you see that the file is there. Okay, that's what uh, we are looking for. Let's clear the screen first. So what we are going to do is that this is a tar file. It's compressed, so we need to extract the contents from it so that we can have access to the binaries for SRA toolkit. So we use the tar command. I'll say svnfz. I use that V so that I'll see what is happening. And then I'll type and get a name for the file here. Then I'll extract the content. So let's wait for the extraction to complete. It's complete. And let me clear the screen here. Yeah, do an ls and you will see that we have what this directory here. This contains the binaries. Let's ls that directory. And we have bin here. Okay, so let's do an ls into that bin as well. And then we have 
the files here. Okay, so now we've extracted it. So the binaries are here, and that's what we need. Okay, we have a number of um, files here faster kill down. We have prefetch and all those ones there. Okay, for this tutorial, we are not going to actually run to download, but I'll just test with some few um, commands. Let's clear the screen first. So this is what we have. So if you want to run the command, you just need to specify. So you say uh, you say SRA to hit. Let me just do it here. Slash b slash. Let's say fast kill. Done. This one of them, and then we run it. Okay, but for this one, we've not done any configurations yet, and we've also not entered any um, any any accession number to download so that is why we have um, this one scan so you can do the configurations but uh, those ones uh, it, it's let me, let, me, let me see okay so what we are going to do is to do the configuration first because that is what the SRE toolkit here is telling us to do before we can run any commands. So uh, let's do it here. So you see SRE toolkit slash bin slash vdb dash config. And then you say interactive just to do a configuration, but uh, we will not do anything there anyway. So there's it. So just you just open the config, but we are not going to do any configuration, so just for, um, for for activating the tool. So you press escape. Again, let me just do it again here. This is the command we use. Interactive. And then we just exit. So exit. You can use your tab key to move through the various options here. The tab. Okay. And then you can just use the enter to select or if you want to just quit the conf you can just also type the escape key and that will just escape for you you just press it one or twice and it will do it for you so once we have done this you can now go back and issue the command here again which now should run because we've done configuration so at least we have just opened the config um, interface so it's fine okay so now it has been done for us now we're able to run it successfully okay but here yeah, because we did not supply any um, identifier that is why we have this um, error coming here but at least this one shows that the tools are working properly that is what we need okay so now we, we've downloaded the binaries and it's working fine but then these are command line tools and we also want to ensure that our, our, our files are properly organized and it's more convenient for us to run the tools. Okay, so at the moment how it's done, whenever you want to run any of the commands, we have to specify the four parts like what I did here. Okay, and this in itself, um, we can make it better by making it such that once we type only this, we can still have our command running so that is what we are going to do next so let's say fast kill down let's type this for down when you type this it says command not found but this is what we want we want the fast kill down to be executed successfully for us and so what we are going to do next is to properly organize our binaries so what i usually recommend is that in your home directory let me do an ls here in your home directory where i am now currently uh, you create a directory called apps or any name of your choice to put your your apps in it or your, your, your tools in it so i'll create a directory called apps so make that apps first and then i'm going to move this one there yeah, that this directory here the one we extracted that contains the binaries we want to use okay now here's the full name here okay but we can also choose to 
rename it to something simple. So let me just rename this particular one first to make it more convenient. So I say MA-VIN SRI toolkits is on and then I will just say SRA2 kits. That's what I'm naming it. But of course, you can also maintain this just to get a version, but uh, it's all fine. You can just um, leave it uh, like this. I'm using a Linux platform, so I'm just renaming it first. But everything should be fine. So now, when I do an LS, we have this SRA2 kits here. And then I'm going to move this directory here, this contents here, to the apps directory. That's what I'm going to do next. So I'll say mvin dash vin. I'm moving everything. SRA toolkits to the apps directory. I have it there. It's moved. Let's clear the screen first. And then let's say ls. Now the file the directory is no longer here. Let's do an ls of apps. And you'll find it there. Let's do ls of SRA apps slash SRA toolkits and you have everything you need there okay so there's just one part now the next thing is to set the path this is where it will enable us to uh, use um, those commands without specifying the path so let's cd to this directory here i'll say cd apps slash SRA toolkits slash bin I'm assuming my, my viewers are beginners, so I'm just taking it step by step. So I'm in there. Let's do an ls and you find the files there. Let's clear the screen. And then we need the path of the bin directory. So I'll say pwd. Okay, so this is the path I need for the next activity. So I'll copy it. You need to copy it. Please note that yours might be different. What you see here might be different um, from, from, from your, 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 what is happening on your PC. So you take note of whatever you see there. Um, so let's see it back to our home directory. That's where I was in my home directory. You can also see it to where you have your apps. So what I'm going to do next is to Add the path to the dot bashrc file. So the dot bashrc file contains um, commands and configuration that you want to be um, started or activated once you open the terminal. So I'm using nano for it, but you can also use vim, vim, any text editor of your choice. But I prefer to use nano. So I'll say nano dot bashrc. That's what I'll do. Okay, but before I even do this, it's better we do a backup of that particular .bashrc file. We are doing a backup so that in case um, something goes wrong, we can just revert back to the original file. So let's make a backup. So let's say cp.bashrc. It's a hidden file. That's why we have the dot beginning. .bashrc and then we say bashrc.back. This is just a backup. Let's do an ls and you see it here. Now we can now edit the original dot bashrc. So I'll say nano dot bashrc and then I'm in there. Okay, so this is where I am. Okay, so here we are going to use this command here. You see export path equals dollar path. And then we bring a colon and then we paste the path that we had when we see it to the SRO toolkits bin directory. Okay, that's what we are, we, are, we are doing. So that's what we have here. So once we have it done, if you are using Nano, then you can use Control and then X to exit this one here. Control key and then X, X for xylophone, and then you exit. So you'll be asked to save changes, you type Y for yes, and then you hit the Enter key and then you are done okay so that's what we have but with the current stuff even though we've edited and configured the, the bashrc the effects 
uh, will not be will, will not be seen now until we open a new terminal. So let's open a new terminal and then we now look at what happens over there. So let's do the switch. So I would also like you to just open a new terminal on your PC. So we've opened a new terminal. So this time around, if you issue fast kill dash dump, we are going to see that the command has run successfully for you. It's important you note this. So please do that and then get your stuffs done. Okay, so that's how we do it with the banner. So now everything is fine and you can now run it. Of course, you can still issue the configuration file again. Enter VDB dash config dash interactive. And you will still have everything there. So now you don't need to specify the four parts. Okay, let's escape. Let's go to tab. Exit. Yeah, and then we have it there. So that's how we do the configurations uh, with the binary files. So, and also, don't forget to remove the dot back, that the backup file, and then the tar or here because now we don't need them again but you can still keep them if you want to it doesn't make any difference so in the next video i'll show you how to install the si toolkit using anaconda and i'll also show you how you use the si toolkit to download data so that'll be all for now and let me also get your views in the comments section so see you in the next video. Bye.